Nicaragua's left-wing president, Daniel Ortega, is currently the longest-serving leader in the Americas. On Sunday, he looks set to extend his rule for five more years in a one-sided election dismissed as an illegitimate farce by his main opponents and by most democratic governments. The 75-year-old former Marxist guerrilla commander is seeking re-election for a fourth consecutive term. He has governed the Central American nation for over half of the more than four decades since Nicaragua's 1979 revolution that toppled dictator Anastasio Somoza, after quashing anti-government protests that defied his Sandinista National Liberation Front government in 2018, President Ortega outraged the US, its allies in Latin America, and the EU by brazenly sidelining his main opposition election challengers. They were detained and disqualified from standing for office or forced into exile. Dozens of other members of the opposition were also arrested. This crackdown in the months leading up to Sunday's vote means that the re-election of President Ortega and his wife, Vice President Rosario Murillo, is viewed by critics and supporters alike as virtually a foregone conclusion. A number of other Little-known presidential candidates will also be on the ballot but are unlikely to attract many votes. The US and EU have signaled likely further diplomatic isolation and sanctions in the event of another win by Daniel Ortega and Rosario Murillo. The couple in turn regularly denounce imperialist US threats against Nicaragua. Nicaragua's army, which is viewed as loyal to President Ortega along with the police, has announced the deployment of 15,000 troops around the country to provide security for the vote. Since the 2018 protests were put down by the security forces, major anti government demonstrations have been rare and many opposition figures have fled into exile. Some voters may heed opposition calls for a boycott of the elections. Opposition civil society organizations and student groups have called for an electoral strike. The opposition's main presidential candidates, Cristiana Chamorro, Arturo Cruz, Felix Maradiaga, Juan Sebastián Chamorro, Miguel Mora, Medardo Mairena, and Noel Vidor, were swept out of contention by being variously detained, restricted, barred, and forced into exile in mid-2021 under a phalanx of anti-terrorist and defense of national sovereignty laws. A major opposition grouping, the Citizens for Liberty, had its legal status cancelled. The candidates who have been allowed to stand are being dismissed by opposition commentators and media as collaborationists in an electoral farce. According to a recent survey by Costa Rican pollster CID Gallup, at least 76% of Nicaraguans considered that the re election of Mr. Ortega would be illegitimate or a little legitimacy. Nevertheless, the same poll had 55% of respondents saying they had a lot of or some interest in voting whereas 44% had little or no intention. The network of media controlled by Mr. Ortega's government and his family has maintained a barrage of upbeat coverage of the November 7 elections, calling them democratic and transparent. The barred opposition contenders and detained opponents have been regularly portrayed by the government narrative as U.S.-backed terrorists seeking to sow hatred and disorder. On the opposition side, politicians and commentators, some of them in exile, have kept up a steady drumbeat of condemnation, criticism, and rejection of the elections. Pro-opposition media have been reporting that various sectors, including government workers and public school teachers, were being forced with threats to vote for the governing party. There has also been criticism from members of the Catholic Church, which maintains influence in Nicaragua and has reprimanded the Ortega government in the past for anti-democratic abuses. Pro-opposition daily log princes cited one parish priest, Uriel Vallejos, as saying in a homily that he would not vote and that the people are going to turn their back on the dictatorship. The U.S. government, the Organization of American States and the EU have all been adamant in their view that the November 7 elections cannot be considered valid. EU foreign policy chief Josep Borrell told journalists this week that he viewed the Nicaragua vote as a complete fake from which there could be no legitimate result. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken has accused Mr. Ortega and Ms. Murillo of preparing a false election that is lacking credibility. EU foreign ministers have asked Mr. Burrell to prepare additional sanctions against the Nicaraguan government and its officials. Vice President Murillo and the couple's sons, as well as other top Sandinista officials, have already been targeted by U.S. and EU sanctions. Nevertheless, 
President Ortega and his FSLN party can still count on the support of like-minded anti-US governments in Cuba, Venezuela, and Russia, among others. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.